This DOG is about a map grid and index. These introduction paragraphs will help you if you forget some of the things that we've talked about in class, and it is good to review if you get stuck on any of the questions while you are working. Um, they are full of information about the map. There's a reminder over on the side to please use complete sentences and restate the question when you are answering. Questions are shorter this week, so um, I do expect the restates and use correct spelling for the words that are in the question. And if the word is in the map, I expect it to be spelled correctly. The vocabulary words are listed here. A grid is a pattern of lines that form squares. You're going to see a map grid on this week's map. And you're also going to see a spot for an index. An index is an alphabetical listing of place names on a map and the grid squares where they are found. So if I go down to this map of Antarctica. I see there are grids, squares. Um, they are labeled with a letter and a number. For example, this first square is A1. I'm always going to read the letter first and then the number. So this square is A1. When I go across um, and over, I'm going to see things like D4 has the South Pole. It's this plus sign marks the South Pole, and near it is the Amundsen Scott Station. Uh, this is a little box which in the legend at the bottom of the page shows that the little black square symbolizes a scientific research station. There are three labeled scientific research stations on this map. The McMurdo station is in F4 and the Palmer station is in C1. So if I go here, C1 is in the square. Palmer Station is there, Alexander Island is near it in C1 and 2. The Antarctic Peninsula comes through several squares over here. There's also this symbol um, in your legend. You see the major ice shelf is a special symbol for that. And then a striped pattern for the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, a major mountain range separating East Antarctica from West Antarctica. Also bordering Antarctica are three oceans, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. And you'll see the note down here near your legend that the southern parts of those three oceans are often referred to as the Southern Ocean. So that is the reason why you don't see the label Southern Ocean on this map. They've labeled it instead the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Ocean which all together, the southernmost parts, make up Southern Ocean. There are also several seas that border um, the continent of Antarctica. If a question asks about seas, you need to label seas. If a question asks about oceans, please give me some oceans. This is one of the reasons why we restate. That way, if you start a sentence, the oceans are, right? something about the question and that you're telling oceans and you start to write down some C's, you'll know that these things are not the same and they need to match. So restate, make sure you're um, paying attention to the question. There is a blank box over on this side for the index. This is the challenge this week. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to see the challenge. It explains how there are many scientific research stations in Antarctica, and the United States has three, the three that are labeled on your map. Your job is to write the names of the U.S. research stations on the index and write their grid locations beside them. We always label our, we organize our index by alphabetical order. So I'm going to put these three research stations in alphabetical order. And I'm also going to put the grid location beside the name of the station. The other questions as you go through this week, uh, please remember 
to use complete sentences and to check your spelling and capitalization. Anytime you have the name of a place, it has to be capitalized. Let me know if you have any questions while you are working on this Daily Geography Week 4.